Who was Joseph Smith? He is most well known as the first prophet and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Latter-day Saints believe that God called Joseph Smith to restore the fullness of his gospel to the earth. Let's start at the beginning. Joseph was born on December 23, 1805. He was the fifth of 11 children born to Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack Smith. They were a close-knit family of farmers who struggled to make a living. They were often forced to move throughout the northeastern United States in order to support themselves. Eventually, the family settled in upstate New York. The Smith family were devout Christians. They read the Bible as a family and attended several churches in the area, searching for one that fit their beliefs. Yet, Joseph was confused by the conflicting teachings. Joseph loved the Bible and the teachings of Jesus, but he was confused by the conflicting opinions of the various churches. One day, while studying the Bible, Joseph read a verse in the New Testament that said, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. After careful reflection, Joseph decided to do as the scripture directed. He would ask God which church he should join. On a spring morning in 1820, Joseph went to a grove of trees near his family's farm to pray. Joseph knelt and prayed. Joseph said that as he prayed, I saw a pillar of light exactly over my head above the brightness of the sun, which descended gradually until it fell upon me. When the light rested upon me, I saw two personages, whose brightness and glory defy all description, standing above me in the air. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, This is my beloved son. Hear him. Joseph asked the Lord which church he should join. The Lord instructed him not to join any of them. That experience, which came to be known as the first vision, set in motion what the Apostle Peter referred to as the restitution of all things. That is, Jesus Christ would call Joseph to restore his true church to the earth. Joseph would go on to learn that Christ's true church, the one with his authority that he founded during his time on earth, had been lost from the earth after the martyrdom of the original church's leaders. Three years after the first vision, an angel visited Joseph and instructed him to unearth an ancient record hidden in a nearby hill, which Joseph translated by the power of God. This ancient record was the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. The Book of Mormon contains an account of God's dealings with the ancient inhabitants of the Americas. And Latter-day Saints believe it is Scripture, another witness of Jesus Christ, along with the Bible. The Lord also sent Peter, James, and John to restore his priesthood. That is, the authority to act in the name of God. Joseph Smith also received revelations from the Lord that taught and clarified eternal principles, such as the importance of baptism, the need for temples, where we make sacred covenants with God, and that marriage performed by the restored priesthood can last eternally, not just until the end of our mortal life. On April 6, 1830, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was officially organized, and Joseph Smith was sustained as the first elder and leader of the church. So, who was Joseph Smith? Latter-day Saints believe the Lord worked through Joseph Smith, calling him as a prophet to reestablish the true church of Jesus Christ on the earth. Latter-day Saints call this the Restoration. As part of the Restoration, Joseph Smith received revelation from God, bringing back lost eternal truths. By the gift and power of God, he translated ancient scriptures and clarified the meaning of existing scripture too. He also received the priesthood, God's authority to act in his name. Joseph Smith accomplished all of this while facing great persecution throughout his life. Indeed, from the time of the first vision, to his death at the hands of an angry mob when he was 38. Joseph faced great opposition because of his message. Nevertheless, he never ceased to testify that Jesus Christ was the Savior of the world and that his true church had been restored to the earth. Joseph Smith was the first in a line of modern-day prophets who have likewise received revelation and guidance from God for all his children. 
even today. As in ancient times, the Lord's modern-day prophets teach us of Him and guide His church on the earth. Joseph Smith's life and the restoration show us how much God loves us. He wants us to know the truth, and He wants us to know Him. Now you know.